Hello, people of views, welcome to your views. A day of you in the Simpsons Camp Crossy. That's camp with a K, not a C. Yes. Uh, I guess it isn't really that funny, but uh, SpongeBob did the same thing with the Krusty Krab. But, yeah, well, And this is the first episode of the fourth season, so. Might be good. And the spoiler for anybody who has seen this, um, I'll look into review. In this, uh, it's the last day of school. Um, Barrett is worried that he's not going to get at least a C average on his report card since uh, he had to do a homer that if he did, he'd be able to go to Camp Krusty. And. But he doesn't business for bubbles, he decides to give him that and he just thanks her by calling her a doll and slapping him somewhere on her body. I don't gotta say where. And then Prince Skinner does his on the intercom and then the kids have wrecked the school. I don't know how. Um the song uh School Girl Forever playing while that happened and the Elf Bar was just dreaming but it as he is the last day of school and he does have that deal with Homer. And he tries to uh, convince Mrs. Crapple to give him his to give him seeds, but he gets all D's. I would tell you, I would tell you got an F or all F's or something about mm -hmm. And Lisa gets one B in a row. Poor card and she starts uh, freaking out, you know, fe feeling dirty, just pressuring uh, Mrs. Hoover. Is it, is, he miss is it Mrs. Hoover or Miss Hoover? I think her both ways. Like, seeing that hurting her, her hand when she had it on Mrs. Hoover's one, but I don't know. She seems like get a little bit like a perfectionist at this point, but I never saw her that any other time. Um, then the school goes out and on the bus ride home. Bart actually uh, goes over her poor card and actually gets himself uh, A pluses. I don't know why he thought that was realistic. Even Lisa thinks it's a little bit funny because when would Bart ever get an A plus, let alone a full A pluses in his poor card? Oh god. I mean, one of the truth comes when he tells Homer, and Homer just mowing the lawn. And, uh, it might, and Homer might be slow, but you don't really believe that Barry got eight pluses. But, and despite the deal they had, he still has Barry to go to Camp Krusty. And then he has Barry to put his hand in the, in the mower. Since uh, he went over, over some roller skates, I want to get out. Before he does, the roller skates will scout themselves. I bet if I already put his hand there, he would have uh, lost it. And then he managed to prepare Bart and ask where his uh, bane suit is, and Bart saying he's got swim naked. And then there's also uh, Homer with his pants on. And uh, Lisa is going to Dr. Hibbert get some uh, sauce, but Dr. Hibbert isn't really taking her seriously and just saying that or just giving her uh, a lollipop. I don't know, but he's not really taking it. Anyway, then when they head to uh, Camp Krusty, it's like they're heading to hell because there's a uh, guy in charge called Mr. Black. Is there and there's no crusty and the camp counselors are uh, the three bullies at uh, Kearney, I think, uh, Jimbo and I forgot the other guy's name. Um, the yeah, they said the camp is like a little bit like hell, even the fat camp has like a military officer in it. And the kids are put into this uh, shack that looks like uh, a chicken coop. You know how there's snakes in it. 
um, these are a few scenes of Corsi, like, uh, him taking out some of the products. Yeah, they says they're okay, but it's obvious there's some faults, like, uh, this, uh, Corsi clock gets, like, very warm. The one they leave it plugged in. I mean, very warm, like, scalding, hot, warm. Yeah. I'm not even feeling that uh, stuff to gruel in the camp. I have no idea what gruel is, but it sounds awful. And they're, instead of roasting marshmallows, they're roasting pine cones, and the counselors are forced them to eat it. Ugh, And then I'm just thinking that Camp Krusty, uh, Anthem or something, I want to do in that third, just, uh, I went inside and described what, what they do in the camp. Um, they tell me a nurse, uh, that, like, uh, looking at a kid with, uh, on his arm, it's like a mat on the arm, and smokes and blows the smoke in the kid's face, and other kids are running from some fallen rocks. I just don't know. I think the writers just have fun to make this the worst camp ever. Ugh. Anyway, Martin Homer, there's having some a long time with Homer losing weight and actually gaining hair. And uh, when Senator to Lisa, Lisa and Senator are back describing that the the action crafts they do. I like I just have uh, workshops for uh, some products that could be sold in like uh, China. There's some like uh, currently in the banging on a on a drum. I know. Uh, and Barrett is slowly going crazy when he's at the or uh, just in, in the corner in the field position holding uh, a doll a crusty and then uh, does that uh, going back and forth and crusty is coming, crusty is coming. Yeah, I don't know if that's funny or just a little bit creepy. Yeah. And when Homer and Dooley read uh, Lisa's letter, they're thinking that uh, these is over exaggerating. If they do go, then she probably want to stay. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there's one part with uh, Crossy in a uh, Wilmington, Wilmington, where he lost some uh, some tennis or something, and. He's actually trying to get one of the guys to choke, and then one announcer saying to the saying that they would the Harlequin please uh, be quiet or something, and he's inside the Queen of, of England. <laughs> I don't know how he got those seats. I thought the Queen had her own like uh, skybox or something. Anyway, uh, then uh, things get uh, a bit worse, or does that uh, get out of control? When Mr. Black gets uh, saying that he has a uh, crusty to sell the kids, or that's a. Uh, of course, he's coming. Um, Barry is still a little crazy, but when the kids see uh, crusty, it isn't really tanks. It's just uh, some uh, wine out that Mr. Black does uh, put a clown costume on. I think it might be burning since it sounds like him, but he has like a five cross. Like a shadow or something, but eh. and that's when Barrett thinks it's gone too far since uh, he's as he said he's been he's been at Burma Crossy before, so he started to make a, a revolution on Camp Crossy and the kids are just taking over and he's freeing all the fat kids from the fat camp. And let's say his name for Camp Krusty to Camp Bart, even though Lisa argues that Bart says he's got to name it Camp Freedom. Uh, Bart still thinks it has more, uh, Camp Bart has more zing. Uh, when the uh, Krusty is about to be knighted, he gets to call about to Camp. Uh, and when the paparazzi come ask him some questions, he just calls it like get vultures. That punches with a gunman in the face. Oh god. 
I do know that Sulfur Count Crossy is uh, being sold on the news. And I keep burning uh, like a stop figure. Of course, it's just that they burn, of course, burn everybody, just dress up like in some sort of a uh, Native American tribe or something. How when Bachman says I had that permission to go to talk to the leader and go then, I was just thinking, don't be the boy, don't be the boy. I see that bad, he just said, uh, loses his hair and gains weight. <sighs> I mean, of course, he's usually in, but the kids already believe that it's him. So, when Rip Dalton, uh, his, uh, jumper and, uh, unbutton his, uh, shirt, he sees him since they see his pacema pacemaker, his, uh, birthmark, I think, and superfluous nipple. I, I don't know. Now, I'm about to call, uh, call Mr. Cross inside, you know. Uh, put his name on a superior, uh, no, uh, a bad product. Of course, he'll break down crime on his knees, saying that the people that gave the money to sound like a, a, a dump truck full of money and saying not made of stone. And Bart just they're describing the bad stuff that happened in the in the uh, camp. And he says, but the kid gets eat, got eaten by a bear. Of course, it's Freaking out, but the bear corrects himself, saying that the bear is like his hat. I'm crossing out, it was a good hat. And the said, Oh, yeah, and that's freaking out as much as he, he did when he heard the bear in the kids. And of course, he decides to uh, make it up to the kids by bringing them to the happiest place on earth for two weeks Tijuana. Yeah, he bring kids to Tijuana. I don't know. And that's what Ed was on some photos of what the uh, course he and the kids did, like wearing some uh, Mexican hats, watching a uh, cockfight, back in a tattoo. Of course, he on, on the ground where he's hung over. I don't know. And um, bus, he, of course, he stays in the bus which the kids are driving. I don't know. And it's all going on while uh, I think Frank Sinatra is singing uh, some sort of song. I can't remember what, but that's just the end of the episode. And off the off the uh, good one, it's good to see that Bart said fate and Krusty in wasn't they wasn't they get uh, uh, broken fully when uh, he when he was wait 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 when he was going through in the camp, but when he got really angry when he saw. A fake crusty that makes sense. Um, this is something with Lisa writing the letter down very dramatic, it's sort of good as well. And again, what's the point of Homer and Bart making that deal on Bart and uh, like uh, C's and Homer and them go? Can Crusty is a Homer of them go anyway? Ugh. I don't know. Uh, the for Homer and um, um, Marge was good as well. Um, the bodies were good to go like antagonists. And this, um, this is stuff like Crossy and that him you know, just realizing I did something wrong was good, but I don't know if it was a good idea to bring the kids to Tijuana. That's my opinion. Um, uh, that's a uh, about it, and uh, next week I'll be starting my uh, review of episodes of uh, The Simpsons going to different countries. And next week it's Japan. So, what will happen when The uh, Simpsons uh, go there? Mm. Anyway, see you um, next week. And if you see the episode 4, then you just know. Mm. Anyway, until uh, next time, I'll see you. Thank you guys. Bye. Well, yeah.